Hi Church, welcome to this week's devotions. I'm Abby, I'm an audacious college student. So this week we're looking at the power of the Holy Spirit and his impact on our lives, in our lives, and through our lives. Every day we will build, um, build on the last as we look at the who, why, and what of the Holy Spirit. During the last devotions, we've looked at the who, what, and why of the Holy Spirit, but what about the when and the how? We know that he is a part of the Trinity and the third person of the Godhead and that his work is comprehensive and his baptism empowers us to live our lives. Being filled with the Holy Spirit should be a daily thing and a consistent thing that we ask for. It's like having a phone that needs to be charged. Without the power source, it won't function at its best. In the same way, we need the Holy Spirit to fill us up and empower us. It's not a one-time thing, it's a daily choice. Life can be draining. We can find ourselves running on empty. And that's when we need to pause, take a moment, and plug ourselves into the source of true power. Paul reminds us in Ephesians 5 verse 18, Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. It's a conscious decision we make to be filled with God's presence, love, and wisdom. Do you ever feel like you're running on empty? I think we all do. Life's demands, challenges, and even victories can leave us feeling drained. And that's when we need a recharge, a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit. When you wake up in the morning, invite the Holy Spirit to be with you throughout the day. When you face challenges at work or school, ask for his guidance. When you're feeling overwhelmed, take a moment to breathe and ask the Holy Spirit to fill you with peace. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is not just for special occasions. It's for every moment of our lives. It's about staying connected to God, allowing his love and power to flow through us. It's about living in such a way that others can see the light of Christ shining in us. We need a daily infusion of the Holy Spirit, continually and consistently asking for an infilling and outpouring in and over your life. Take a moment each day to ask God for this and speak in tongues if you're able to, edifying your life each day. Open your hearts to God's presence and let his spirit flow through you, bringing life, joy and purpose to your everyday moments. We love you, church. Have the best day.